Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, I've been better. Oh. We need it. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> I hope that tomorrow will be a better day for you. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Well, I hope that you have had a very good um, Wednesday and tomorrow it's yeah Thursday and then Friday, a couple of a step away from weekend so we can rest. And well, we're going to start uh, to continue with the program. Yesterday we left this exercise pending, uh, which is a conversation in which we are going to continue practicing um, this uh, topic that we were studying, how to express regrets and also time expressions. For this, I'm going to give you a chance to select the correct time expressions and the correct tense of the verbs given. This is related to the topic that we've been studying a uh, couple of days ago and yesterday. So uh, let's see, we have the options there. The first one, we have the verb, not accept. So uh, expressing regrets, it says, I've made such a mess of my life. What do you mean? If I, and we have not accept, remember to express regret, we use the, the verb had and then the, the verb in past participle. If I hadn't accepted in this case a job and then the, so the time expression, the most appropriate here is as soon as, a job as soon as I graduated, I, and then we have travel. To express the possible outcome, what do we need there? Do you remember? I, following with the conversation. I have. Mm. And the auxiliary? I am. Mm -mm. The auxiliary. <laughs> the, the, sorry, the, the model. I. Which for? We can use would or could. I would have Who? travel. Uh huh. I would, I would have Coward. I would have traveled. So this is to complete this. Trouble. Remember, I would have traveled. So let me stop sharing this one to show you the answer here. Okay, this is it. So let's see. So you can have a better idea. So can you see the answer here? Yes, teacher. Ajá, so remember, recuerden lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Eh, cuando expresamos el, el arrepentimiento, usamos if más el sujeto, luego had, en este caso not, because está en negativo, hadn't accepted, con el verbo en past participle, a job as soon as graduated, I, para expresar el posible eh, outcome, tenemos que usar sujeto y luego el modal, en este caso could como decir yo podría haber viajado, I could have traveled, so esta es la estructura que necesitamos para expresar el posible outcome sujeto luego el modal verb de, uh, de otro verbo auxiliar y luego el verbo principal en participio ok eh, y siguiendo esta estructura vamos a completar dependiendo lo que eh, necesitemos a 
hacer acá. Como ahorita hay poquitos y para oírlos uniendo a los breakout rooms igual. Eh, después como que se pierden un poco, pero pues les vamos a hacer un poco de tiempo. Pero vamos a empezar nosotros aquí en la sección principal. Esto lo tienen en la diapositiva de ayer, era el último ejercicio que ya no alcanzamos a hacer por cuestión de tiempo. Así es que pues le voy a dar tiempo para que escriban la opción correcta en su cuaderno. Eh, acuérdense que donde están los verbos es que vamos a utilizar ya sea que estamos expresando el arrepentimiento o el posible outcome. Y en los que están entre paréntesis, que son las proposiciones de tiempo, ahí vamos a, a ver cuál es la que queda mejor siguiendo el hilo de la conversación. Entonces, los voy a dejar trabajar en eso. Y recuerden, lo pueden ir haciendo en su cuaderno. Ya está fallando el Inter Teacher. Teacher, tenía problemas. ¿Quién? Hola. Eh, 
tenía problemas o, o usted? Que dos A lo veces mejor es me el sacó. suyo porque yo no, no he tenido, no me sale el mensaje de que mi internet está inestable. La puedo poner las señales donde estoy, quizás. Have you finished? Can we check the answers? Or you need more time? I need more time, teacher. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Voy entrando hace un momentito. Okay. Estamos en... Eh, um, con lo de la conversación que nos quedó pendiente, el mismo tema de ayer, estamos complementando aquí lo que vemos, um, si estamos expresando como el, el arrepentimiento, ¿verdad? Recordando que la estructura es if más el sujeto, luego had, en este caso con not, hadn't, porque así nos lo pide acá, y el verbo en pasado participio. Eh, donde están las expresiones de tiempo, seleccionamos la, la más apropiada y también tenemos en algunos casos que expresar cuál pudiera haber sido el outcome, ¿ya? que para lo cual utilizamos el sujeto, luego eh, algún modal que puede ser should, could o would, luego have y el verbo en pasado participio para completar la conversación. Eso lo están haciendo en el cuaderno. Ya vamos a chequear las respuestas dentro de un momentito que espero que ya la mayoría haya terminado. Ok, ahorita lo intento. Ok. Gracias. Finished?
We're going to check the answers. Okay, so we left, let's see what it says. I could have traveled around Europe all summer, just like you did. Um, you were so carefree. Now, okay, you know, I should, what's next here? I should haven't gone. I'm gone. Okay, I shouldn't have gone to Europe. I should. And this would take? Have taken. I should have taken. I should have taken the great job I was offered before. I returned from Europe and until 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 okay let's check after yes after. <laughs> yes your oh. answers are correct I shouldn't have gone to Europe okay. I should have taken the great job I was offered after I returned from Europe it was too late okay very good job you did it excellent now, um, let's see, we finish. It was too late here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But my job is so depressing. I started it, I hate it. On the very first day, that was five years ago and nothing's changed. I should for another job right away. So let's begin here. What do you have here? What is the correct preposition? Before the moment or until? Before. Before I started it? Until. No. But my job is so depressing. Okay, someone the said moment. before, yeah. someone said the moment. Okay, ya vamos a ver. I started it. I hate it on the first moment day. Hunter. Okay, now I should. I should have looked. Okay, so yes, is the correct is the moment. Okay, but my job is so depressing. The moment I started it, I hate it. On the very first day, that was five years ago, and nothing changed. I should have looked for another job right away. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's continue here. Well, start looking now. I posted my resume online last month, and five companies contacted me right away if we have not. Teacher, tengo pro I don't have a problem. A problem. What are your answers? If I if I hadn't uh, if I hadn't post. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't post my post. resume, no one. The cortala. No one uh, did, did contact me. Okay, let's check. Uh-huh. No one would have contacted me. Mm -hmm. would, would have contacted uh -huh. me. Siempre va el, el auxiliar, um, el model auxiliary, el auxiliar, and the verb in past participle. Very good. Okay. Lo único que hay que recordar que cuando estamos expresando el arrepentimiento es if I had el HAD, ¿verdad? Va como en paz. If I had y el otro, ya cuando estamos hablando de la posible um, desenlace o cómo pudo haber terminado la cosa, entonces va el, el modal auxiliary que puede ser would, could, or should y luego have. And like present, y luego el verbo principal en present perfect. 
You're doing it great. Ya, ya nos estamos adaptando, ¿verdad? Ya vamos mejorando. Ok. Uh, let's see. Accepted one of the job offers. Mm -hmm. Bajando acá. Ok. Really? What's the job? It's working as a landscape gardener. I saw it. I knew it was right for me. Mm -hmm. Yes? ¿Cuál sería la preposición aquí? ¿Cuál sería? O la time expression. If I hadn't bought the house. Ah, if I hadn't bought the house. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. solo nos falta aquí. La time oh, expression. Ok. Aquí. Before the moment. Or it says, it's working as a landscape gardener. Un landscape gardener son los que le llaman paisajistas de jardín. Mm -hmm, Hacen okay. como paisajes en los jardines que le dan forma de pajaritos, de elefantes a los y hacen bonitas decoraciones en los jardines. Esos son los landscape gardener. So it says, it's working as a landscape gardener. I saw it. I knew it was right for me. So, y until, uh, until no es hasta. ¿Cómo no? Sería hasta. Before yeah. sería como antes. Oh, y antes. The moment es como like that. En el momento. O desde el momento. Okay. So, ¿Cuál creen que puede ir ahí? The moment. The moment. The moment. Ajá. Yes. Ok. Y acá. Me dijeron, enero. If I hadn't bought the house. Uh -huh. I be able to take a lower paint job. Mm -hmm. I I would have been able to take a lower lower paying job. Aha, uh -huh. excellent, excellent. Aquí ven sus respuestas. It's working as a landscape gardener. The moment I saw it, I knew it was right for me. But um. Right now, the problem is that I get a very good salary and just bought a house. If I hadn't bought the house, I'd be able to take a lower paying job. Mm -hmm. That's it, excellent. Let's continue here, the last and la ultima. Well, I guess you can't have everything if I, a better salary, I a house too. If I if I had a better if I had um if I had maybe if I have if I have had a very salary. Uh -huh. I I would I would I would have a boat a house too. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very well done. That's correct. Well, I guess uh, you can't have everything. If I had a better salary, I'd buy a house too. Okay, so that's nice. Very good job with this. It's a quite long conversation. So um, see, I have 20 here in the main section. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I can share this. Le voy a compartir la conversación completa. Solo voy a tomar el recorte acá. Para que les quede. I'm going to stop sharing. Les voy a mandar la conversación y vamos a chequear asistencia.
There you go. Teacher. Dígame. Ve que está fallando, que al rato me saca de Sí, zona. ahí sí no le podemos okay. ayudar porque ya es con su conexión, ni modo, solo tener paciencia, ¿verdad? Que se le estabilice. Yo creo que a veces le puede ayudar a apagar la cámara. Si tiene mala conexión, los demás sí me escuchan a mí porque de mi parte no he tenido mensajito de que me esté fallando a mí. Así que si es con su conexión, ahí sí, sorry, no le podemos ayudar. Yo no solo yo, hay otro sí, compañero. Sí, así es, estoy viendo, vivo. pero solo sería de que traten o se muevan a ver a dónde pueden tener mejor conexión o apagar la cámara, porque es también como que, que les jala ancho de banda. Ok, so let's see. Andrea Laurena. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Belén Batres. Belén no se ha conectado. Ahí escribió que a las ocho y media se iba a conectar. Ok, sí, gracias. Carlos Mario, ok, me acaba de gracias. hablar. <ríe> Thank you. <ríe> Carmen René. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Delmi. Francisco Nehemías. Present. Thank you. Uh, Helen Dionelli. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It is your honor. It is Joana. Okay, uh, Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Thank you so much. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Kenia Sicilia. Kenia. Marisela del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Marisela. Moises Alberto. Moises Alberto. Noemí Albertina. Rafael Antonio. Present. Present teacher. Thank you, Noemí. Thank you, Rafael. Reina Present. Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you. Judy Araceli. Judy. Present teacher. Thank you, Judy. Jose Rudy. Jose Rudy. Ana Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. María Angélica. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Eh, Susana, ella no se conecta. Okay. Let's continue here. All right. I shared the conversation. So um, I think that this is the last thing that we're going to do for this topic. So we're going to make the breakup room so that you can practice the conversation. Les compartí en, en WhatsApp la captura de la conversación completa, así como hicimos el ejercicio. And yes, thank you, Moisés. Es, ya lo puse ahí en la lista. Y eh, vamos a... Ok, vamos a... Moisés no va a participar quizás porque parece que se siente mal. Mm -hmm. Ok, so... Uh, vamos a practicar la conversación un par de minutos para ya cambiar el tema. Let's see. Okay, there you go.
Pueden compartir vale, la, el... la conversación. Rafa. Hola, hola. Estoy descargando la, la conversación. Bueno. Puede ser. Ya lo tiene. No. Maricela la tiene, no. No, Rafa la está compartiendo. ¿Sí lo ven? How am I much uh, uh, hard way life? Uh, how what you mean, man? How did he use us? Okay. Si quieres, empiecen. Merci. ¿Quién va? ¿Quién va a leer primero? Merci, ¿quieres leer tú? Perdón, pensé que tenía activado el micrófono. No, sería hasta el primer párrafo, hasta Kerfi. ¿Hasta ahí? Sería cada, cada personaje, Andy ah. uno y John otro. Andy. Vaya, empiezo con Andy entonces. Dale, y le das tú, Belén. Sería... ¿Cuál Andy? voy a decir yo, perdón? ¿Cuál vas a hacer, Mercy? Andy. Andy. Ah, pues, Belén John. Ok. Ok. I made such a mess of my life. What do you mean? Is I hadn't accepted a job as soon as graduating. I could have traveled around Europe on summer. Just like you did. You, you were so careful. ¿Se fue Belén? No. Hola, ah, Belén. perdón, perdón. Yo pensé que tenía el micrófono encendido. <risa> Ay, ya iba, ya iba terminando, eh, Belén. You know, I shouldn't have gone to Europe. I should have taken the great job I was offered. After I returned from Europe, it was too late. But my job is so depressing. The moment I stir it, I had it on the very first day. That was five years ago. And notice change. I should have looked for another job right away. Well, start looking now. I posted my resume online last month and five companies contact me right away. Right away. If I hadn't posted my resume, no one would have contacted me. I accept one of the jobs offered. Really? What's the job? It's working as a landscape gardener. The moment I saw it, I knew it was right for me. But for my right now, the problem is that I get a very good salary. And I just bought a house. If hadn't bought the house, I'd be able to take a lower, no sé cómo se dice. I'd be able, sí, able uh -huh, to take a lower paying job. Well, because you can have everything. If, if I have a better salary, I'd buy a house too. Solo una cosa, no sé, verdad, una recomendación. Siempre que vea las comas o puntos, llegue hasta el punto. Porque todas las palabras, hay, hay cosas que van unidas. No sé si puede, no sé quién tiene para que suba un poquito. Ahí, ahí. Ahí donde dice Andy, donde dice, my job is so depressing. The moment, 
Por ejemplo, I started. Es una sola palabra, no, no va separado, o sea, es una sola. Eh, siempre que veas comas o algo, es de decirlo hasta donde llega la coma o el, o el siguiente signo de puntuación, porque quiere decir que es una sola idea. Eh, eh, como lo que ha subrayado la teacher, es una sola idea. Entonces, una sola frase que no puede ir dividida, porque si lo dividís, entonces significa que son dos ideas. O sea, la persona te entendería que son dos ideas, aunque tú sepas que solo es una. Ok. Helen, ¿estás lista tú? Hola. Sí. ¿Estás lista tú? Sí. Y José Arnoldo está también. Estoy. Vaya, Deli, entonces. ¿Quién comienza? Helen. Ah, ok. I made shoes I miss of my life. What do you mean? If I have accepted a job as so as if I grateful, I could have traveled around every all summer, just like you did. You were so careful. You know, I shouldn't have gone to Europe. I shouldn't have taken that great job I was offered. After I returned from Europe, it was too late. But my job is so desperate. The moment I start is I have it on the very first day. That was fifth. I make a list. That was five years ago. And nothing shall be. I show I have looking for another job right away. Well, start looking now. I post my resume online last month and five companies contact me right away. If I hadn't post my resume, no one would have contacted me. I accept one of the job offers. Really? What the job? It's working as a landscape gardener. The moment I saw it, I knew it was right for me. But for right now, the problem is that I get a very good salary and I just call me a house. If I burn the house, it'll be ugly to take a power baby home. Well, I guess you can't have everything. If I had a better salary, I'd buy a house too. Okay. Ya, joder, quiero ver. Francisco sigue de, de oyente. Hola, voy, voy a participar ahorita. Ah, vaya, Francisco. ¿Y sí quién voy a hacer? Ahí ve tú. Ok, voy con Andy entonces. Ok. I've made such a mess of my life. What do you mean? If I hadn't I accepted a job as soon as I graduated, I could have traveled around Europe all summer. Just like I did, just like you did, you were so carefree. You know, I shouldn't have gone to Europe. I should have taken the great job I was offered. After I returned from Europe, it was too late. But my job is so uh, depressing. The moment I started, I had it on the very first day. There was five years ago. And nothing changed. I show I have looked for another job right away. Well, start looking now. I posted my resume 
online last month and five company contact my right away. If I hand posted my resume, no one will have contact me. I accept one of the job offers. Really? What's the job? He's working as the landscape gardener. The moment I saw it, I knew it was right for me. But for me, but for me right now, the problem is that I get a very salary and I just bought a house. If I didn't bought the house, I'd be able to take a lower paying job. Well, I guess you can have everything. If I had a better salary, I buy a house too. Okay. Y van a cambiar ahora de papeles. Merci. Okay. Y Belén. Sería Andy entonces. Sí. Okay. I've made such a mess of my life. What do you mean? If I hadn't accept, I, if I hadn't accept a job as soon as I graduated, I could have traveled around Europe all summer, just like you did. You were so carefree. You know, I shouldn't have gone to Europe. I should have <laughs> taken the great job. I was offered after a return from Europe, it was too late. But my job is so depressing. The moment I started, I hate it. On the very first day, that was five years ago and nothing changed. I should have looked for another job right now. Right away, sorry. No problem. Okay. Okay, so now to continue with the program, we have this exercise. We have to read this passage about surveillance technology. Uh, what is it? What is surveillance technology? Any idea? Vigilancia. Electrónica. Yes, that is correct. Is... Uh -huh. It refers to all yes. the vigilancia por cámaras, tecnología de vigilancia, surveillance technology. So uh, we're going to this, read this passage or paragraph, and then we have to answer the questions that are here. Why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? How many restaurants were part of the research? What is the estimated cost of employee test and fraud? What is a fraud tactic used by bartenders? What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? And what was the change in behavior in staff after the monitoring software was installed? So remember that you're going to read this paragraph and here you find the answers to these six questions. Let's just stop. You have this in your material and also in the presentation I sent a couple of minutes ago. So we can make the rooms. 
can so you can discuss or read and discuss the answer in groups. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, I have an important call right now, and I can I connect later in around ten minutes. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Esta es la teacher. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Surveil surveil surveillance. Surveillance. Uh -huh. Surveillance. 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 Vaya. Of surveillance on behavior. En a new re research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effects can be. Así digo, que, va a ser, ajá. No, yo digo, ok. En cuatro lo dividiste, vea. Así, the researches measure the impact of software that monitors employee level, death and sales transaction, transactions before and after the technology was installed at 3,092 restaurants in 39 states. Okay, let's repeat. Installed. 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 Uh -huh. And this is 300. Oh, 392. 392. <laughs> uh -huh. Thousands of miles. <laughs> 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 392 in 39 states. No, that's okay. Y por eso está bien que esté leyendo y para ir como... <laughs> Eh, no, normalmente quizás no estamos diciendo números y a veces es cosa que se nos olvida o, o por falta de práctica, ¿verdad? Y para eso es para practicar. So that's okay. 392 restaurants in 39 states. Okay, you can continue. Okay. Employee de and fraud. 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 It's a big problem. Estimate at up to... 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays service low wage. Mm -hmm. Wages. And they, 
waves and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high in that environment. A certain amount of the death has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. Hasta ahí. Mm, sí. Tell me, Helen. A uh, simple sample is as bartender not charging for a room of drink and worry the consumer to take care of me. Consumer. Consumer to take care of me with a large these other uh, tactics are more elaborate. But more, but more, but monitoring software is not available to trade all transactions available and the, available available available. Mm -hmm. to track all transactions and detect suspicious partners, patterns. After the installation of the monitor monitoring software, income per restaurant in increase by an average of Thousand nine hundred eighty-two. Eighty-two. A week, knowing they were being monitored, the service not only pilot but on any anti unethical practice, but also channel their efforts into Cyprus prompting customer to have that to have that dessert or a second beer. Okay. Dessert. I am dessert. Porque si decimos dessert es el desierto. So dessert, dessert. es para el postre. Dessert or a second beer. Mm -hmm. okay. Ahora las preguntas. ¿Qué es Spocky? Escalofriante. Entiendo que dice ¿Por qué las personas piensan que la vigilancia es considerada escalofriante? Uh -huh. Pero no encuentro la respuesta Si sí veo que dice que ¿Is it spooky or restoring? Es pelonante o tranquilizador o sea pero ¿por qué la gente piensa eso? No, no he visto. Quizás eso tiene que ser idea de nosotros quizás sí porque no no aparece allí yo creo que 
va en el sentido de, porque ahí dice que, eh, que es un gran problema. Dice, espérame. Ya te voy a decir. En, que a, donde están los, los números, a, eh, que es en 392, restaurant, um, 39, State, employees, death and fraud, is big problem, dice. Entonces quiere decir que, que quizás se siente espeluznante por el hecho de que te das cuenta de lo que está pasando, creo yo. Por el gasto que realizan en eso. El, lo que pierden por el tema de robo y fraude digo yo, porque se dan cuenta ajá creo que eso y yeah, eso, the number one is your own opinion sí la una okay. tiene que ser su opinión, it's, it's not in the paragraph but I think that most of them the rest of them, yes they are in the paragraph mm -hmm. La número dos creo que sería 392 restaurants. ¿Qué? La número tres. Sería a donde dice 200 millones de dólares. Sí. Ajá. Me puede poner una propuesta de la uno. Está bien ese, Carmen. Ok. Número dos eran 392, ¿verdad? Sí. Es 200 billones. Number four, what is the fraud tactic for los cantineros? Por ahí oí, vi algo de cantineros, quiero ver. Uh, Donde dice que no cobra una ronda. Mm -hmm. No, no charge for a ronda. Entonces es porque como no les cobran y le dan propina. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Sí. Entonces sería... De... De bartender. 
not char charging for a room of drinks. Sería la cuatro. La número cinco tiene que ser eh, in comfort restaurant increased by este panel. Donde dice, donde dice promedio de dos mil novecientos. Sí. La seis sería entonces donde dice the, ser, the servers, not only polar, but. The servers, ajá. Pero, but also. Hasta. Ajá. Hasta el final, ¿verdad? Sí. La dos es trescientos noventa y dos, perdón. Sí. Trescientos noventa y dos restaurantes. Ya tenemos todos. Los puse en un Word por si necesitamos proyectarlo. Vaya. Gracias. Gracias. Vaya.
Okay, good save. From room number one, a uh, volunteer for the first question. It was Francisco, Iris, Mercedes, and Judy. Do you have question number one? What do people think surveillance is considered spooky? A different issue is the effect of sur surveillance on behavior. Yes, that can be related to um, a change on behavior because not everybody feels comfortable um, with um, knowing that they've been or observed the whole time, right? So, yes, that could be because of behavior. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Very good answer. Uh, group number two, Belen, Teacher. Maria, Noemi, and Rafael. Mm -hmm. Teacher, just... I think maybe uh, we can also uh, about the first one. Uh, they feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable because they um, make some bad practices. They knew it. How do you say culpa? Guilty. They are guilty, guilty or, or because of they feel guilt. Guilt, yeah. Okay, yes, that is also a very valid point. Now let's see the number two. Do you have number two? What do you have, Belen, for number two? 392 restaurants and 39 uh, state. states. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. That is the answer. Thank you. Uh, for question number three, what is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Room number three, Carlos Mario, Jose Arnoldo, Margarita, and Moises. Sorry, teacher. The cost is uh, about uh, 200 million of dollars. Uh, of the year. Uh huh. That's correct. Thank you so much. Uh, the number four. Let's see. We had there. Imelda, Maricela, and Ruben. What is a fraud tactic used by bartenders? Is is um when a bartender not charging for a round of drink, and urging to the customer to take care of me with a large tip. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. That is correct. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, number five, Andrea, Carmen, Rene, tell me. Helen? Okay, teacher. Solo la leemos o la ponemos? You can just read. Okay. Number five, income per restaurant increased by increase increase by an average of uh, two thousand nine thousand eighty two. No, nine. Como es teacher? Which one? Uh, 2982 ah, a week okay thank you so much and do you have the number six the servers not only polar but on any unethical practice but also channel their efforts into say prompting customer to have that dessert or a second. A second, a second beer. beer. Okay, that is all right. Thank you so much for participating. And now let's see, this is um, a matching exercise. We're going to match the words to their definition. 
We have surveillance, research, behavior, theft, waste, tip, and spoken. And we have the definition, so we are going to number with the definitions. I'll give you some time for you to do this, and then we're going to check. Are you finished? Yes. Okay, let us raise hands to volunteers. Uh, let's see, first volunteer. Thank you so much, Maria Angelica. Then we have, okay, Maria, number one. Belen, number two. Now me, number three. The way someone acts. It's behavior. Number three. <laughs> okay, you gave us number three. Thank you so much. Uh, so I have to say the number one? Yes, please. Okay. So, I'm sorry, teacher. How do you say? Surveillance. Surveillance. Uh, the, uh, the correct answer is the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Excellent, thank you so much. Number two, Nami. A, to, restore, <clears throat> to remove someone's doubt and fears. Someone doubts and fear. Okay, yes. thank you so much, mm -hmm. that is correct. Thank you, Nami. Let's continue with number four, volunteer, theft. Imelda, thank you. Theft. Are you on mute? Sorry. <laughs> Theft, the action or crime of stealing. That's correct. Thank you so much. Andrea, waged. The amount of money paid to an employee. That's correct. Thank you so much. Number six, volunteer. How did you try to? Volunteer. Uh, 
Carlos Mario, thank you. Thank Is to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Okay. That is correct. I thank you so much, money. Carlos. I have money. I show me what to provide. Okay. Uh, pardon. Hi, teacher. No, no. Juan Ricardo. Volunteer for number seven. Seven. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Spocky, um, is um, something that causes fear or nervousness? Spocky, Spocky, take away some hats. Vamos a levantar la mano, ahorita tiene la palabra Belén, ella nos estaba dando una respuesta. Gracias. Belén, continue, please. Yes, uh, something that causes fear or nervousness. Okay, that's correct. Thank you so much for providing us with the answer. So let's stop sharing or continue here. Well, for the next exercise, we have to write, a, it says a 10 line paragraph, but not necessary. you have to write that much amount here. So if you are in favor or against an employee surveillance at your workplace, okay, and you have to give us the reason to support your position. To write a paragraph, it is uh, good to use sometimes connection. So I have added here some of them that you can use in your paragraph. Okay. So we have in order to avoid when you connect the ideas, uh, we sometimes add an, and 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 so there are also other connections that we can use. Cuando estamos escribiendo un párrafo, eh, a veces no tenemos como muchos um, vocabulario para conectar las ideas. Entonces a veces tenemos a estar uniéndolas con and and y and. En este específicamente este párrafo es para escribir su opinión si está a favor o en contra de la vigilancia a los empleados en su trabajo, si es que la hay, y si no, pues, eh, ¿cuál es su opinión respecto a eso? Por lo menos unas tres razones y da, um, eh, si está de acuerdo o a favor y soportar la opinión. Tenemos los conectores de addition, el más común que usamos es and, ¿ok? The, y tenemos un ejemplo. The skater was strong and graceful. También para agregarle más ideas al párrafo podemos usar and also. Es como decir también. Y también and also. Podemos usar simplemente also para también. Eh, as well as. Es así también como. También como. Um, Besides being, además de ser, eh, in addition, también, moreover, y furthermore. Eso, eh, esos son conectores de, adic de adicción, so, para ir sumando o para ir agregando ideas. So, pueden utilizarlos en el párrafo y como les decía, no es necesario que escriban las 10 líneas, ¿verdad? Puede ser. Eh, algo corto y traten de usar algunos de estos conectores para agregar ideas. Les voy a dar un tiempito y lo pueden ir escribiendo en su cuaderno.
Ready with your paragraph? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. Uh, volunteer to share. Let's raise the hands. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, volunteers. Okay, we have one here. It's Carmen Rene. Thank you. Carlos Mario, then. Okay, teacher. I am in favor of surveillance. Surveillance. Surveillance of employees in your workplace because the study have proven the decrease in theft and fraud. In addition, is more security for the owners. Uh, also more justice for the good employees. Yes, excellent analysis, Rene. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's listen to Carlos Mario and then Belen. Um, I believe that is uh, that it that it is one of the safest and most reliable ways of having control of the personal as well as as well as of the work that they can actually carry out. Unfortunately, there are there are people who will not like it, but it it is uh, for the simple reason that they don't they do not like control over their work because they do not work they do not make good use of work time uh-huh excellent thank you so much carlos mario excellent ideas let's listen to Belen. hello okay i'm sorry <laughs> um i'm agree uh perdón, sorry i'm a, i'm I agree. No, uh, favor, sorry. <laughs> are in favor, uh, but only in 85%. Why 85%? Because um, it's important to have control about the situation, about the employees, about the behavior of the employees. And in my work, it's like, uh, we used we used to uh, work with some kind of delicate information, so it's really That's important true. to have a lot of control because it's information that is not for us. It's a lot of uh, uh, customers that we handle it. So, but in the other fifty percent, I'm against because the control is only for keep safe all the work that uh, we have to handle it all the work we, we do every day. But about the behavior, about the personality we have, it doesn't matter, I think, it doesn't matter uh, in my area is call center. So maybe they have some medicals about some stuff like the clothes or about um, how we look for example, and we don't even look the customers. So maybe I'm this um, against for that reason, my 85%, because in my opinion, my um, mentality, men mentally, mm -hmm. how do, my mentally is uh, that doesn't matter how you look like, if you don't see the customer, if you don't have uh, uh, interaction with the person, so doesn't matter how you look like if you already good uh, do a good job uh, if you have a good uh, goals in the good medicals and all the stuff so that's my opinion okay yes totally understandable yes you're um you're pointing out advantages disadvantages and that's okay thank you so much Valen, for your participation let's listen to noemi Okay, thank you. In my opinion, the employees surveillance at, at the workplace is very efficient, especially in places where money is handled because it is a way to avoid fraud and also to have evidence for any theft. Uh, furthermore, it's for security to personnel of the business. 
Excellent. Very good. And a good point that it's okay with people handled money and it is also good for the security of the same employees, right? So yes, good point. Thank you so much for your participation. So let's continue here. We have a conversation in this part. It's about personal training. So we're going to stop talking about surveillance and we're going to go ahead and um, talk about personal training. I think the vocabulary here is pretty easy. So, and this is part of your material. So we don't have audios here, but we will go ahead and practice this conversation in groups. So I'm gonna create them again, breakout rooms. And after we practice them, we're going to uh, share in the main section. Sorry, teacher. I will cap to drink some water. Okay. I lose the the explanation. What what, what are we going to do? Is uh, practice only? Yes, practice a conversation. Uh -huh. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. The which are I eat it. Ya no se escuchó. <laughs> Lo quería escuchar. <laughs> bueno, no sé. <laughs> Ask me about training okay. opportunities. Si no, empezamos nosotros. Ah, very good. You see, okay. I want to schedule a server's training. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Eh, empieza, si gusta, no sé quién seguiría después. Una y una, podemos mostrar, creo. The dishwashers I hired a month ago once to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, a very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not the not so good. Some customer complaining about having to wait for too for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and acknowledge so we can include everything they need in, try in the training. Francisco está de oyente. Let's do that. And do forget we have to evaluate the server after the training. Okay. ¿Alguien más tiempo? Ay, yo no la escuché. <laughs> <laughs> Dele, pues. Empiezo, ¿verdad? Empiece. Okay. Uh, the dishwasher is hired a month ago. Wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance, performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained 
about having to wait for to, to launch? Yes, I think servers uh, need a go need a good training. Let's identify, identify their skills and I knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Este Mercedes? Sí, muy, muy bien. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promote. He asked me about training opportunities. Si quiere, siga usted, Francisco, para, para no repetirlo. Ok. Uh, very good. You see, I want to schedule server training for next month. And one for cashier performance this month was not so good. Um, some customer complained about having uh, to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers, servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that and don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. There is shower I hired among a gold ones to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Continue. Sí. A very good. You said I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Francisco. Francisco. Hola, hola. Okay. Le toca la, de, la parte de Alex. De Alex. ¿A em empezar de nuevo? No, abajo. Abajo. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need, a, they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Practicamos en pareja hoy, si gusta. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Empiezo yo, no sé quién. Vaya. ¿Quién va a seguir? This watcher I hired a month ago once to know how to get promote. ¿Cómo se dice promote? From promote. No sé promote. 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 He asked promote. Uh, promote. 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 Okay, thank you. Promote. Empieza. This watcher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule, schedule a service training for next month and one for the cashier's performance. This month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their, their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. 
let's do that. And don't forget, we have to, we have to eva evaluate. Evaluate. Uh, evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, is identify. Okay, so it identify. You did a very good job. Just a couple of words. Identify. Identify. Evaluate. Evaluate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It is in, in Francisco. Yes, how are you, Francisco? Yes. The dishwasher I hired a month ago want to know how to get promote. He asked me about training opportunity. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for this month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. okay, hoy empiezo yo lo que alcance a mover. That the dishwashers I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance performance this month was not so good no vamos sí Okay, before we role play in the main section, we are going to check attendance again. So let's do that. Just let me get ready because uh, this seems to be stuck again. Okay, Andrea Laurena. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. Belen Batres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mario. Present teacher. There you are. Thank you. Carmen Rene. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you so much, Delmi. Francisco Nehemia. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Helen Dionelli. Helen Dionelli. Thank you so much, Helen. Iris Joanna. Present. Thank you so much, Iris. Jose Arnoldo Correa. Present. Thank you so much, Jose. Uh, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Kenia Cecilia. Kenia Cecilia. Maricela del Carmen. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, uh, Moises Alberto. Oh, you are, um, okay. Noemi Albertina. Present. Present teacher. Thank you, Noemi. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Judy Araceli. Present teacher. Thank you. 
José Rudy. Ana Mercedes. Present. Thank you. María Angélica. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Imelda. And Susana. Okay, now let's share the screen and role play the conversation. Let's listen. Volunteers. Uh, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga and Carlos Mario. Thank you. So this is what you I had a month ago. Wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunity. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for the next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complaining about having to wait for a lot for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the server after the training. Okay, thank you so much. You did an excellent job. We were uh, making the appropriate poses and intonation. Uh, pronunciation was really good. Thank you so much for participating. Let's listen to Maricela del Carmen and Mercedes Amaya. Okay. This answer, I hire more. I go want to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their the skill and the knowledge. So can include everything they need in the training. Okay, pretty Let's... good. Creo que faltaba una línea, ¿verdad? Okay, do I? Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. Now I have Belen hands. Tengo la manita de Belen levantada. And who wants to practice with Belen? Maria Angelica, thank you. You can start, Maria. Maria, you can start. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. The dishwasher I had a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunity. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a several training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Awesome, very good job. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, during the role play, so I just heard a couple of words that maybe are like tricky. One of them is identify. Identify. Identificar. Ajá, uh -huh. para la pronunciación, identify. Identify. Mm -hmm. Identify. And also remember that the ones the ending in ed, eh, las que terminan en ed no se pronuncian like that, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí es promoted. Esa es una como it, promoted. 
promoted. Eh, lo hicieron muy bien eh, con esta. Solo escuché una que se pronunció complained. So remember, it's no ed sounds. Complained. Complained. Uh -huh. And that's it. Very good. Y justamente tenemos un repaso de esto, de la pronunciación del simple past. Porque ya en, en, en sesiones anteriores me he dado cuenta que hay que hacer un repaso de eso. But before going there, antes de ir al repaso, eh, we have this material. Veo la manita de Belén levantada. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta o se quedó por ahí. Belén. Creo que dejó la manita ahí levantada. Okay, so we have to discuss the following questions and uh, who is asking for a promotion? This is about the um, conversation that we already role played. And uh, okay, I have Imelda, okay. The dishwasher. Oh yes, the dishwasher. He is asking for a promotion. Number two, what did the customer complain about, Noemi? Is having to wait for too long. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for number three. What staff will receive training? What staff will receive training? The server. The cashiers. Servers or cashiers or both? Both. Both, both of them. Okay, thank you so much. And finally, what steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? What steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? Skills and knowledge. Okay. What else? Carmen? Identify uh, the needs. Identify the needs. Uh -huh. No, Amy. Tengo una la manita ahí. No? Se quedó ahí. <laughs> no worries. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and uh, okay, evaluate after the training as well, right? So, how do you organize training for your staff? Number the steps in the correct order. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to organize this.
Okay, uh, volunteer to share the answers to this exercise. No, I mean, thank you. And analyze the job is the first. Number one, mm -hmm. analyze the job. And number two, identify personal scoring skill and knowledge. Okay. And number three, uh, design skills and knowledge gaps. Mm -hmm. Number four, identify training solutions. Number uh, five, implementing training. And the last one, evaluate, uh, evaluate performance after training. That is great. Excellent job. Thank you so much for sharing, Naomi. I think that that would be it for today. And tomorrow we will uh, do the review about the ED endings. So I hope to see you tomorrow early so that we can do that together. And well, that would be it for today. Thank you for joining us today's section. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Bless you. Bless you. Sleep well.